The trainer comes in with the doctor, they stick a needle in my knee, draw out all the fluid, tape it up, put a knee sleeve on, give me an injection, go out there and go do it for us, boy. Yeah, so in case that wasn't obvious, Lamar Jackson is after a payday. And last week, he reportedly turned down a five-year contract extension that was worth $250 million, with $133 million of that guaranteed at signing. So it appears that he wants guaranteed money a bit like the $230 million that Deshaun Watson received this summer from the Cleveland Browns, which was a huge talking point and will continue to be. Now, Jackson actually, he represents himself along with his mother, uh, and he's taken a pretty, pretty big gamble, I think that's fair to say, um, in the final year of his contract. I want to just talk to you guys about whether or not Lamar Jackson as an individual deserves a guaranteed contract like the one that we're talking about here. Without a doubt. I'm always going to back up the players, but in this case, he is the man. They've built this organization around him, his skill set. And when you look at the market and when you look at what those top guys get, he deserves to have it all guaranteed, especially because of the way he plays the game. Are guaranteed contracts a good idea, OC, in general? <sighs> <laughs> this is tough for me. Because uh, as a player, 100%, I think the game is entirely too difficult. The injury risk is 100%. You're going to get hurt. Players deserve to get their contracts guaranteed. As I said earlier, I'm a horrible businessman, and I'm trying to get better at business. And as a business person, should players' contracts be guaranteed? 1,000% no. Mm, I don't know. 1,000% no. And I, I got to tell you why. You know they say your, your experience is your expertise, correct? Um, and I like to personalize things. I got to tell you a story. 2010, I was playing for the New York Giants. I was going through one of my many contract disputes <laughs> with the New York Giants. This was a yearly thing between me and them. <laughs> Week three of the, uh, of, of the season, I get injured. Hurt my knee. My knee swole up the size of a watermelon. The entire week, no practice. I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything. I'm just hobbling around. Friday, one of our other defensive ends gets hurt. So now we're down to only two defensive ends on the entire team. Saturday, the general manager comes down. I'm in the training room getting treatment on my knee. He comes downstairs. He says, OC, we only have two players. Can you go out there and play for us? I look at my knee, Laura. I look at him. I look at my knee, and I said to him, yes, sir. <laughs> Wow. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to play for you. And then the next day I go out there, the trainer comes in with the doctor, they stick a needle in my knee, draw out all the fluid, tape it up, put a knee sleeve on, give me an injection, go out there and go do it for us, boy. And I went out there, seven tackles, three sacks, two forced fumbles, ended up helping the team win the game. Now, I didn't tell you this story to tell you that I was a good football player. <laughs> I told you this story to tell you that if my contract was guaranteed, there is absolutely no way I would have went out there and done that. Wow. No chance in hell mm. I would have went out there and put my body on the line mm. when I know my contract is guaranteed. And so this is the problem. When you have players who have all that money guaranteed coming to them, they no longer go out there and sacrifice for the team. As a matter of fact, you probably see a direct correlation between the amount of money players get paid and then all of a sudden you start seeing them missing more more and more games. The game is too hard. From a business standpoint, you cannot guarantee players' contracts. He could get injured. He could, in the position that he's in at the moment, he has actually come out himself and said, defense is played differently for me. It's a dogfight every game. Oh, see, if he does get injured, that's the end of it, right? It is the end of it, man, and this is the risk that he's taking. I mean, he is going to get like 20-something million dollars this year, which is quite a bit of money, but it is a massive risk that he's yeah. taken by not getting the 100-something million dollars he was guaranteed. Here's what I love about him, Jason. I want you to talk me through this as well. Is um, He seems to have a great personality. Mm -hmm. He seems to be quite funny as well. He doesn't take himself too seriously mm -hmm. unless you're talking about a contract. This is what he replied to this tweet here. Uh, this was from a fan. He says, as much as I love Lamar, a fully guaranteed deal is just bad business. He he replied underneath saying, you don't love Lamar. <laughs> you don't love Lamar. Do you love Lamar? I love Lamar. And the one thing O.C. said is it's a risk, right? Yep. This is all he's ever been taking is risk. His whole life, people have tried to change his position, the style of play he was. He can't be a quarterback in the NFL. Guess what he does? He becomes one of the best. People say, you can't negotiate your contract. He's doing it. And they say, you can't get guaranteed money. And I think he's going to go out there and try to make it happen for all the quarterbacks that come after him. He is about the cause. That's why I love Lamar Jackson.